Greetings, Tube Dwellers, and welcome to another crap day in Falskar. Look at this weather. Always rainy. All of Falskar is as coastal as it gets. So, of course, the rain will be flowing. We've got the Bard's book. The Bard learned a new song, Hip Hip Hooray. He's still alive. Thanks to his ability to uh, finally man up and just play the song. Uh, there's some caravan I'm supposed to find. I've got two quests tracked right now. I don't see a marker for the caravan, so I suppose I'm just going to have to travel along the road until I find the caravan. Let's see if it says anything about where it might be. Helena has asked me to search the road between Amber Creek and Borvald for a missing caravan. The trade wagon was transporting some expensive fabrics from Tamriel that she needs in order to produce goods and make money. I should search the road and stay on my guard. These lands are proving treacherous. So I think... Uh, I think I'm actually going to head towards Pineville to find uh, proof of Kalevi's birthright. But I think I'm going to take the road, and I'm going to note where I leave the road and try to return to the road at that same place. That way I can also be searching the road for this caravan. Uh, and I expect most of this to be... Oh, i got to level up. That's awesome. I expect most of this to be pretty uneventful. Oh, is my horse not in false scar anymore? What? What is this? Oh, they're screwing me with this horse business. You know what? I got enough cash. I wonder if I can just buy another horse. Luckily, the convenient horses mod will uh, automatically apply all of my statistics. There's going to have to be a person involved. I can't just snatch a horse and ride off. Well, I technically could. That tends not to be a great idea, though. Ah, I don't know where the horse merchant is. I don't remember who sold me the one horse. I think it was like... There was only one horse for sale. Oh, man, I'm going to have to walk the roads. This is terrible. Okay, let me take my mind off that. Let's level up. I am becoming level 42 here, so I should get a perk. Health. Still go health. What a beautiful number. Yeah, we're going to go health. Uh, one perk to increase. I've been spamming some perks out lately. I'm not totally sure. I guess I can always go to illusion. Spectral warding really seems lackluster. There's this questionable perk. I've been... Asking myself what it really does for quite a while now. A loyal companion carries your extra equipment and fights by your side. What? Is that like a dog or something? Huh. Wait, what? Okay, curiosity. It's way stronger here than with the tranquility lesser power. Let's see what kind of a best friend I have. <gasps> bud! Oh, it's my little buddy! Open his bag! Uh... Well, you know, I guess we got to do it sometimes. He seems a little bit old for uh, for being neutered. But uh, I suppose we're going to have to make sure it's done. We can't have little budlings running around. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. <laughs> Wait here. Go. Go sell. We're home. Go sell. Oh, it's like torchlight. I could just I could just put stuff on him and have him go sell it. Oh my god. Hey we're home! What does that do? It doesn't do anything. Oh, I think he, he did eyebrows at me. Hold on, hold on. Look at me, dog. Look at me. Take things home. Wow, that's really cool. Hey, we're home! You gonna look at me and do some eyebrows? I could've swore I saw his eyebrows move. Well, look at that! I've got a companion. I wonder I wonder if he's immortal. What are you doing following me? Oh, that's Janessa's horse, isn't it? Of course, Janessa's horse follows us. It's a smart boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good little dog? Yes, you are. Oh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Okay, look, look. Here we go. I'm going to stop screwing around with my new best friend. Uh, we're going to get on the road west. No, east. We want to go east, right? Yeah. We're going to go east to Borvald. And uh, I suppose if I run across the caravan, I'll see you there. Oh, perfect reminder to mention something else. Look at that ore. My god, that ore looks beautiful. Oh, that is iron ore. It looks so beautiful. I've installed a mod. Uh, Glowing Ore Veins 300, I think is the name of the mod. Uh, Baratan, being the author, it makes ore glow. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. Now I mine it quick and it glows. And everything about collecting ore is no longer a pain in the butt. Beautiful stuff. Uh, so long as I'm not a dunce, the description below should be updated with the name of that mod and the mod's author. Of course, you can find it on the Skyrim Nexus. 
along with all the other mods listed below. I've reached a fork in the road that I believe to be probably the best way to split off and go to Pine Vale. Uh, it actually looks like its road kind of connects over this way. This road looks like it goes to that monastery. Maybe I'll just stick to the road until I get to Borvald and go right past Borvald and then up to uh, up to Pine Vale that way. That sounds better. Uh, that way I don't have to leave the road and I can just keep looking for this very well hidden caravan. Ha! Silly me. Well hidden. Oh my. That is no joke. That is a three wagon caravan. And this looks like it may be a bandit left behind. A wounded guard. My god, man, are you okay? Thank the nine someone finally came by. I've been out here for days. Oof! I was told to was look for you a little while ago. Down the road. I rushed over only to find a caravan under assault by bandits. I tried to help, but there were too many. I'm afraid I was wounded during the fight. Took a hefty blow to the stomach. The bandit must have thought he killed me because he moved on. After the fight ended, while they were looting the carts, I overheard them talking. The leader of the group was a dangerous marauder we've been trying to kill for months now called Yarik the Crusher. Speak quickly, man. If you're off to find him, be careful. He and his gang are a dangerous bunch. They're holed up in Mammoth Keep. Far Mammoth to the Keep. Northeast. That sounds familiar. If you have any potions you could spare, I'd be Yeah, happy. certainly. I've got a ton. I'm Jarek's hammer prevents magic from doing any good, so I'd need a tonic. No magic, huh? Have a potion of minor healing. Let's go all the way. Extreme healing. Heal all the way, buddy. No, oh, really oh, ultimate healing. Know. There you go. I feel great. Thank you very much. Now, please, leave me to bury the dead. Pay my respects. Hope you do better, bud. I don't know what happened to uh, your stomach. There's a lot of blood around. So hopefully that potion uh, also uh, unmixes blood and bile. I know a stomach wound. Nasty business. Nasty, nasty business. There were a couple guards here. They did at least take out a bandit. Okay, a few bandits. They weren't totally useless guards. They said there were a lot of bandits here too. A well, matter of fact, I see I see one dead guard, one hurt guard, and three dead bandits. No, four dead bandits. So good job, guards. Wow. Quite the useful guards. Matter of fact. Uh, Mammoth's Keep. I guess I can split away from the road now. Yes, I remember going by Mammoth's Keep. That's right. I was uh, testing some fear out <laughs> on some of Yorick's lackeys out by the docks. I say we go north to Pineville first, then over to Mammoth Keep. That sounds good. What a scene on the countryside. We've got a dra uh not a dragon, a uh, giant to our right, and we've got some Thalmor down in the valley. You know, I haven't decided who I'm going to join in the Civil War. But I kind of feel like I should try to get this dragon. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying dragon. This giant to aggro onto the Thalmor. The Thalmor don't mind me, but the giant is definitely going to be angry. You know what? My my companions will probably kill the giant. That's probably not an option. If I was alone, I think I could do it. Let's just uh, let's just keep our distance. Give him a wide berth. Wander on around to Pine Vale. What's this? A chest? Alexander, you beautiful man. A random chest. Just out in the middle of the wilderness. I like it. I like it quite a lot. I wish there was more of it. What? Nah! Pine Vale should be just around this outcropping of rocks. Should be getting very close now. 
burnt buildings to enter my field of vision? Any moment now? Oh, what's this? This. Looks like Pineville. That building doesn't look the least bit... Oh, okay. It looks a little... A little... What is... That sounded like a blacksmith hammer. Someone's talking. Bandits! I'll be begging your pardon, sir. But I believe I have some business here. Come in here. No. Ah! Oh, that's mine. Whew! And for a second I thought that that bandit could not only stand within wooden poles, but could summon spirit creatures to his aid. You're nothing, Marauder. The block was less than effective. Boom! I'm kind of curious to see what my companion does. Let's just watch the health. Ha, huh, there was a shock at about the same time. Oh wow, Bud! Bud is almost dead! Is my... Is my Atronach shocking my own people? I know Chain Lightning can have some dastardly side effects. Looks like we might be dealing with some of those. Oh, Bud! Oh, I gotta see. I don't want to just watch him go... Oh no! Oh, Bud! Bud! Oh! Oh no! He's down! He died! It was too soon! He was too young! Oh, Bud, why? Why, puppy? That can't be- Oh my god, it's a miracle! He's right back up! He's come back to life. I did invest a perk in him, so I, I kind of hoped he was immortal. Is he, like, full health? Did he come- I think he is. I think he came right back up with full health. That didn't even take that long. You know what? In a general sense, I think I like Bud more than the Phantom Beast. Phantom Beast is so random. At least I know Bud's always gonna be a dog. And he can carry stuff for me. And he can go to town to sell. Oh my god, he's so much better than the Phantom Beast. Uh, I wish I could back up and take the Phantom Beast perk out. Because I actually have a touch of concern over having uh, too many followers. The next time I'm in a cave, I am just... I'm gonna be cursing. There's gonna be no end to the amount of hate and anger my small legion of followers will cause. So I'm supposed to be looking for proof that Kalevi was born here, right? I think that's the way it went. Uh, there were a lot of bandits, so the crime scene has been uh, thoroughly contaminated. But maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Did I already search the cat? I feel like I did. No, I didn't. A lot of times I do that in combat. Although I'm obviously inconsistent about how often I do it in combat. Amber Mead. If there is proof here, I feel like it's going to be tucked away somewhere. It's going to be like, I don't know, part of a burnt birth certificate in a fireplace or something. <laughs> Did they have birth certificates in uh, Skyrim in Falskar? Was documentation a common practice? There is a mine. Ah, and that's where the quest sends me. There's one more building, though. Why not have a look in it? You never know. In these burnt out buildings, what you're gonna get? Uh, nothing, apparently. A dresser! With clothes! Somehow I'm thinking those would not be the most comfortable or clean. Probably very mildewy. And, uh, possibly feeling very starched. Ha! Huh. That is interesting. There, there's a bear trap here that apparently caught somebody so long ago that they've turned into a skeleton. Oh, wow. The creature followers. I should have called myself like a ranger or something, the way this has turned out. I'm like a man of the wood. With beings of all, all sizes and natures following me. Dogs, spirit creatures, elemental beasts from other planes, refugees, Janessa, I'm sorry. I know you're not a refugee. 
Wow. So, uh, how about that iron mine? Huh? Is that gonna happen? Is that a thing? We'll have to try this one the old-fashioned way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get it! Oh, oh! This is actually slower. Especially since I have to go equip a friggin' pickaxe. What is this gonna do? Woohoo! Unlikely. You're more than welcome to go back. They love dealing with bandits there. Matter of fact, you could probably just stop by the Jorgener's cabin on the way there. Recite to them some of your deeds. You get the same reception. Corundum. Did Janessa just get hit by a tripping rock? <laughs> hey, it looks like this one works. Awesome. No cuts required. Janessa, you okay? I know these rocks can be tricky. Just like bones. Just like Legos. <laughs> there are three levels of pain in the world. <laughs> bad pain. <laughs> incredibly bad pain. <laughs> and stepping on a Lego. <laughs> Ordered by range of intensity. Apparently Skyrim's version of that is stepping on a bone. Heaven forbid you be sprinting when you do it. Heaven and hell forbid that you be on legendary difficulty. You're probably dead. That Nordic sword looks amazing. It's kind of heavy for its value though. So I think I'll leave it. A fur helmet. Speaking of bones... Huh, this is interesting. I wonder- oh god, he's got a bow! Guys, oh Jesus! Oh, I'm in some serious trouble here. Oh no. Oh man, woo! He's got a bow. How do I deal with this? What am I, what am I supposed to do? Oh! Will you guys do something? Where are my companions? What are- oh! Jesus! Oh my god! Oh, I was so right! Please go. Please go deal with this archer. What in the hell? Why are archers that powerful? I've got armor, right? I feel like they don't recognize that I have armor. Like, bows go through magic armor. Of course he won't, Frenzy. It's not like it's a powerful illusion spell or anything. Okay, look, let's just let's just get in it. There's no chance that I can use my shield. Okay, he's using the dagger. I could probably use my shield. No need. He's already down. You? have got quite the set of armor. Why are you running? What's that all about? That's not gonna work. An old journal. Huh. 30th, Sun's Height. We gave him up. We had no choice. Ellen is very sick and I'm still recovering from my wounds. We cannot raise Kalevi. He would certainly die if we kept him. We gave him to a merchant that was headed to Amber Creek. Wow, that's harsh. We have a, fr a merchant? I mean, it, is that basically like giving him into slavery? Is he, is he going to be sold now? We have a friend there. He is a Bosmer as well. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. He'll take him in. He is such a kind heart. He'll raise him as though Kalevi were his own. We wouldn't give up our child unless we knew that for sure. When we're both better, however long it takes, we will go to Amber Creek and find our son. Oh, how touching. So they died, right? Is that what happened? I'm thinking they died. They didn't get better. They died. Why the hell were they down in the mine? They're writing journals in the mines? Okay, look, it occurs to me that maybe they weren't in the mines, uh, but instead some bandits found the journals and then brought it to the mine. Look, I don't know. But all I'm saying is that I didn't find them in the village either, so... Either they died, and they're the couple skeletons hanging around this, uh... This mine, which, again, why are they in the mine? Or they, uh, got lost on the way to Amber Creek. It's really tough being a moron. Life is hard. Travel is hard. Alright, well, uh, Pineville's secret uncovered. I suppose we can zip on out of here, and why not make a loop of things? Let's go over to Mammoth Keep. I've already got the fast travel point, so I think I'll just do that. I'm almost certain 
that I'm going to have a hostile reception. Uh, no, they literally have dummies standing guard, so no fear of hostilities. I can take my time. I guess there is a, a real watchman up there. Let's double cast this big boy. I may need the duration. No, I'm almost certain I won't. Given that he's ranged, he tends not to die, though. You're gonna gut me from up there? You're gonna gut me with an arrow? Oh god, that's not what I expected. I didn't think you were the one talking to me. And you know, I probably shouldn't doubt the archers. They could totally gut me with an arrow. Apparently in the lands of Falskar, hell, even the lands of Skyrim, getting hit by an arrow is about the equivalent of a three foot away buckshot. What the hell is going on here? Why are they not crossing the bridge? I guess my Atronox clogging things up? I should probably be careful here. This keep looks mostly overrun. I'm tempted to just jump. Oh god, there's an arrow! No! Yes, it was an arrow, actually. It was a point-blank range arrow, and I've taken two of them! I'm working on dying here. Apparently I don't have anything better to do. While my, uh, companions make good on wiping everybody else out. Where the hell's my Atronach? Oh, it's not an Atronach! Whoa! Nice! Phantom Wolf? All of a sudden? Showing a little bit of his worth! Oh, if only I could get a Skeever to do as much. There's another red dot over here. I know I left an archer behind. It's probably dangerous to not have line of sight on him. He'll eventually find me. And probably just about one-shot me when he does. Where you at, bud? I know you're up here. I know you're up here. Tell me you're not up here. Is he not up here? No, but I am being followed. Marauders. Oof! Got a good hit on me at the end. But they're not really a challenge any longer. The enchants for one-handed bonus damage have become too great! I can just slice them down and... butt a few swings. It's gotten calm. I don't trust that at all. Sure enough, they still know where I am. This one archer, at least. Where have all my companions gone? Janessa? The Atronach? Everybody. They're just... They're just absent. Let's try this again. Maybe he was clogging up the bridge. Maybe that's just stopped up my flow. Ooh. What is that? Is it behind me? Yeah, it sure is. Woo. Whoa! I would say the same to you, but I really don't want to dare an archer to do anything. You'll probably kill me. No! Stagger! Oh my god! That was a point-blank arrow. I'm actually a little bit impressed at my ability to take that arrow. That could have been my life. I think, uh, I think this Iron Flesh is helping a lot, though. This alteration spell, the armor, the increase over the Stone Flesh that I was using for way too long. I think having it up at the level of Iron Flesh has definitely made a difference. I think uh, some of these arrows that I just took may have been curtains under the protection of Stone Flesh. But I have survived. I can now take a full two arrows <laughs> from an archer before violently exploding. I think they're Rambo or something. Ha! Huh, an alternate way into the keep. What is go- oh, okay, it's a plant. There for a second I saw those leaves and I thought it was like the outline of a ghost or something. I don't know. Crazy stuff happens in Skyrim. Sometimes you gotta doubt what you see. Sometimes it's just right to doubt what you see. Okay, we're inside a part of Mammoth Keep. Not the right part, I'll note, but, uh... I would like to kill all of the bandits, not just Yurik the Crusher. The Crusher. Oh, can I get a sneak? Companions, hold back. Just hold back for a second. Oh, yes! Not just a sneak attack, but a straight assassination! Beautiful! Oh, I get too few of those. You know what? I almost never see my sneak. Is that another poop bucket? That's a poop bucket, isn't it? That's kind of gross. Uh, I almost never see my sneak increase. 
Lately, I haven't even been using Muffle. Uh, which reminds me, I should probably use Muffle, huh? Yeah. I should use Paralyze way more often. I have that on a hotkey, don't I? Six. Screw the shield. Why would I even want to screw around with a shield? Let's just Paralyze. Oh! Oh, that should have been a sneak attack. You weren't that smart. You weren't that quick to catch on. Whoa! Oh, wow, she is all about coming straight at me. Oh, yeah! We're gonna play curling with a bandit corpse. Before he's even made full-on corpse. Wow, I just dodged an arrow and a blade attack at the same time. Come on! Send me your arrow. I'm gonna send you something much worse. Hurts, don't it? You thought arrows were bad. Try being paralyzed and falling your head directly onto a rock. Then I'm going to come back and kill your sister. Yeah, I should, uh... I think... Whoa, what is this? Did the bandit chief come out of the woodwork or something? Wasn't he in a different part of the keep? Holy crap. He's got a spell caster and everything. Oh, yeah. Paralyze even increases my alteration. I definitely need to use this a lot more. Wow. There's no resisting it either. Why does illusion suck so bad? Like, how is alteration this much better than illusion? Make them run away from you? Okay, that's cool, but it's a pain in the butt that you gotta chase them down. Make them fight for you? Yeah, sure, whatever. I guess that's pretty cool, but it never works. Everybody's too high level for it. How about we just make them fall down and lie there? Just lie down, bandit. Just go to sleep, and when you wake up, You'll be in another place. You'll be in a brighter place. Because of the fire. Combat? What? What combat? I see the red dot. I don't know where it's coming from, though. Oh, man. That's going to keep me in combat, too. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Hello. You have a bow. How about a paralyze? You seem to like to lie down. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's the way I like it. Oh, look at that archer. Did you see how that archer just died? That That is what effective spells should feel like. Oh, man. Uh, I think... Uh, did we complete the quest? We might have. Actually, Yurik died, right? Get the key. I got to get the key off the body. How did I not loot his body? I thought... There's a pack of like five bandits, all dogpiled right on top of each other. I could have swore that I looted all the bodies, but apparently the one that really mattered I didn't, and it even has an objective marker on it. Yerk the Crusher. Key to his stolen goods and a note? Oh, he's got a hammer? Decreases restoration spell effectiveness on targets by 90% for 30 seconds. And somehow the guard knew about that effect? That is an awesome effect. I am going to try to take that off of that hammer. I'm not sure I'll be able to, but I'm going to try. I swear, just a moment ago, there was ore in that ore vein. I even made a comment of... Uh, I tried that one and told me I couldn't because I was in combat. Then I made a comment when I tried that one that I wasn't going to be able to. And now the ore's gone. The ore's magically gone. I didn't take it. I don't know who took it. This is the mine of disappearing ore. Apparently here's some ore. Yeah, I'll take that ore. You can never smith too much. Spoken like a true dwarf. Even though smithing doesn't uh, directly increase my stuff, can still help my companion, my follower, I should say, as my companion now has been dubbed uh, very specifically as Bud, my little dog, to whom I can speak. Oh, you know what? This seems like the, a great opportunity, Bud. Uh, let me open your bag. I'm sorry, I repeat uh, circumcision. No, that's not the right word. Uh, castration. Repeat castration is not necessarily my style, but uh, apparently I have no choice. It's the only way. It's the only way I can I, I give you things. I wonder. All types of poisons and potions I don't need. Uh, I was going to say, I wonder, though, what all he will sell. Uh, I need to read this, so, yeah, let's go to equip mode. Here you'll find the treasure's great. If you forget, you stupid slate. Go down the long, cold, stony straight until you reach the room of late. 
If you run to Madman's Loaf, Splitting Ore... Wow, that was weird. Weird flow. Then you've just missed the door! Turn not left, but right and walk, into the room where sleeping takes stock. Skeever looks at it from afar, whilst Mudcrab always stands close. Huh. There's not... There's not another page? Surely there's another page. It's not letting me flip the page. That's strange. Let's, uh, let's send some of these other things on over. For sale! I wonder, is he just gonna be able to take everything? Could I... Will he just run and run until it's sold? Like, if I give him a stolen item, will he go find a... a fence? <laughs> let's give him some gems. I just wonder how much he's gonna be able to just go magically sell for me. Do you imagine a dog walking into your general store barking at you? Go sell. Here you go. I just wanna see it. Bud doesn't know where a town is yet. Ah, wow. That seems odd. That seems like that might be glitchy. Um, I don't know if he'll recognize Amber Creek. I suppose I need to take him back to the mainland. But I think it's okay that he keep all that stuff on him for now. Falskar hold. Hmm. I am not sure that's the right way. And we've run aground the end of the episode! Thanks for watching, Tube Dwellers. I'll see you later.